Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Norm Goldstein. I'm the CEO and founder of a company called I Kids for Kids. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for the opportunity to participate in the CBC Educational Brain Trust at this session of the STEM Caucus. Distinguished members of Congress and friends, the tragedy of Hurricane Katrina and the government's response acutely reminds us of the dire need for our citizens to be scientifically literate and to understand how to address the basic needs of security and national defense. In the wake of this devastation, inventive minds are already at work considering new ways to respond to this disaster and to prevent them. American ingenuity, innovation, and entrepreneurship made this country what it is today. In his book, They Made America, Harold Evans states, practical innovation more than anything else is the reason America achieved preeminence while other well-endowed leg messes lag and have failed behind us. However, our current position as a world leader in innovation is being threatened. The educational system is challenged by the lack of motivation and stimulus in science, technology, engineering, and math. Encouraging STEM learning is not only a national imperative, it is truly an emergency. Our nation has a great need for innovation and productivity to maintain our position against foreign competitors on the world stage. Two years ago, I founded a company called Buy Kids for Kids to harness the natural creative power and the potential of our youth. Our mission is to inspire, motivate, and stimulate the creative and innovative spirit in all children. Buy Kids for Kids provides free resources to parents, teachers, students, and schools to facilitate and stimulate inventive thinking. In addition to inspiring STEM careers, we face another important challenge, the challenge of equity. Our commitment to equity is fueled by the need to engage children from traditionally underserved communities, such as Brooklyn District, represented by Congressman Owens. <coughs> Community outreach in Brooklyn has, has included our Museum Brainstorm Challenge, which inspired local kids to experience inventing. We also collaborated with community organizations, such as the Police Athletic League, the, Depart the Department of Parks and Recreation, and the CIS Tech Watch Alliance, and many schools and colleges. I can assure you that we'll see some great inventions coming out of Brooklyn. Yesterday, in the Maryland State Capitol Building, we officially launched our Inventive Thinking Program, championed by Governor Robert Burlick. The BKFK Inventive Thinking Program utilizes the United States Patent and Trademark Office, Project Excel, which is a set of tools designed to stimulate inventive thinking and facilitate the creation of invention. We will launch this Inventive Thinking Program nationally on October 11th, along with our partners Xerox and Scholastic. Inventive thinking is capturing and engaging young minds and igniting the confidence and self-esteem to dream new dreams and actually create something from those dreams. As American great poet Langston Hughes said, hold fast to dreams, for if dreams die, life is a broken new bird that cannot fly. BKFK believes in the power of dreams and the ability of children to create real creativity and commercial value for our country STEM careers and inventive thinking skills are critical to producing 21st century innovators and entrepreneurs. I'd like to show you a video of some of our kids. Can we please do that video? Inventive thinking offers a real world experience that motivates children to learn what they need to know and what they need to do to make their own inventions work. Dad's always doing this garden work and my mom too, he's always cutting the grass. And so I was thinking maybe I can invent something that will, instead of him wearing all these thin shirts and having the sun rays go through his shirt, invent something to keep him cool. This early experience in understanding how the inventive process works will inspire kids to find the answers to the problems they pose for themselves. Well, one day I was at my house and I was about to take my vitamin, and I was in a rush, so I didn't feel like digging into the bottle, so I just started pouring it on my hand, and a whole bunch of powder came out on my hand, and I said, they should have an invention called vitamin pixie sticks, and as easy as that. I have a lot of bags on my chair, and so soon I have to do this to see what's behind it. So what we did was we developed a rear view camera system, that you can see from a portable TV and a two inch lipstick to a camera. One of the camera into the chair battery, two gel batteries. And uh, then you can see what's behind you for about 20 feet or so. So when you're backing out of a classroom, you don't run into anything or anyone. 
Their hands-on control over this process provides actual experience with self-direction and self-determination that is crucial to producing tomorrow's 21st century innovators and entrepreneurs. I wish everybody could have been. Thank you.